Oh yeah, it started recording already. Okay. Oh, I've got to click on. How do I do that? <laughs> Jay, you didn't show me these things. I don't know how to get across. Where is that? It? Ah, oh, there you go. Done it. Done it. Done it. Done it. Done it. Okay, right, we ready? <laughs> we ready for this? Uh, let's do this! So the FMVs are going to be really shit because <laughs> I don't think you can get like the the um, HD ones to work or something. Jay, can you confirm that? But it doesn't matter what the FMVs look like. You can you can get like a, a rough idea on what's happening. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's it's all legal mumbo jumbo, isn't it, right now? Magic. Those ancient Peruvians, man, they knew their shit. <laughs> yeah, Inca magic, exactly. <laughs> yeah, is it a nice cam? Do you like it? Can you see me in HD? Hi, Nate. <laughs> yeah, it could be like we have technology. Yes. It looks so nice. It's so pretty. Blurry, no. What, the FMV or the game itself? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, on, on me? Well, I'd rather my face be blurry. <laughs> well, I'd rather my face be blurry. <laughs> I don't know if it's because it's maybe too small for the camera. It's kind of made the... Made it gone a bit funny. That is in the, the image window. It's so weird because I could it's the game is like echoing in my ears. We need to sort this out. <laughs> Obviously not on the stream today. It's not your fault, is it? Although technically it is your fault because you wanted to get the new setup today. I was happy to go with Elgato. <laughs> oh, you've refreshed. That's good. I'm pleased. Had so many issues trying to get this set up today. Doesn't help when you have a toddler trying to destroy the house around you. Otherwise, we probably could have set it like sorted it all out yesterday or something. Uh. <sighs> At least we have the music. Because last time we didn't have the mu the proper music, did we? Oh, 
it's so nice playing this so like you 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 just can't understand how much this means to me that i'm playing it practically hd <laughs> i'm used to like playstation 3 graphics where it's all blurry and stretched on the screen oh yeah you get all the the climbing noises like huh! Here we go. <laughs> it's 1080. Oh, okay. It's just so pretty. Yeah, it's old school graphics, but who needs like modern graphics? And the gameplay is just top notch. No more black walls. Yeah, it, I'm, I'm so happy the music is where it's supposed to be. Now Rosie gets to experience it properly. <laughs> I would happily do Lara's grunts. I'm sure the money is good. Do the sigh as well. <sighs> Got all these uh, new sound effects to come, Rosie. <laughs> Wasn't um. A lot of the grunts and the the size and stuff actually done by like one of the marketing ladies or licensing i can't remember but um but yeah it wasn't actually like shelly or whatever that did them or well, she did some of them but not all of them what no amateur move amateur move there we go There we go. Panic over. <laughs> so you're solved for the illusion of fame. <laughs> like, yes, yes I do. <laughs> You think I'd make a good Lara video? I don't know. I can't do classy. That's a problem. I'm too common. Don't you think you've seen enough? Yeah. <laughs> I can do the sassy attitude, that's fine. That's like match. Yay! That's not a bad time actually. Normally my time is like average seven minutes, so. Right, now how do I save? What was the what was the magic key? It was an F one of the F keys. Someone remind me. <laughs> I don't play PC. <laughs> F5, thank you. Right, I've got to get into saving. F5, thank you. After last time, I need to save. <laughs> you going down there oh options on the screen um i didn't see any options though i don't know what button to press <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, I think F5 is my is my is going to be my my chosen option <laughs> for saving. It's a lot quicker. Press F5 again. Why? Yeah, it did. Yeah, seat of Ilkabamba's on there. It's fine. How do I get out? What do I press to get out? <laughs> Escape. What do I press? Anyone tell me? Escape, yes. Cool. I didn't want to press escape and then I come out of the game completely because that's happened before. Not on this game, but other games. <laughs> The water's so blue. I just can't get over how nice and shiny it is. Again, we're, to we're like talking to someone who played this for like 20 plus years on a PlayStation with the same graphics from like day one. Oh, he's decided to scream, has he? He's not, he's not been saying aha whenever he sees Lara and it makes me really upset. Like he's sort of gone past that phase of saying aha. A 24 year old PC game on a Last of Us PS4 controller. Yes, yes I am. And I couldn't be prouder. Back down here. Oh, that was stupid. Right. See, this is like nice chilled gaming, isn't it? It's not like constant stress like what I've been <laughs> after playing Last of Us Part 2 this is a chilled playthrough and also Final Fantasy to be fair no more button mashing Right, so what we've got to see, my challenge today, because obviously last time I played this, uh, was I, I just managed to finish St. Francis Folly, but obviously I died and lost a big chunk of uh, progress, so. I know. <laughs> Do you, know, you don't know how happy I was when I was like, 11 years old and I worked out how I could make Lara dive and do handstands. Because it wasn't in the manual, you had to like figure it out for yourself. Yeah, no Google back then. <laughs> yeah, we got the manual in the in the CD case, and that was it. Why have I got people coming up saying they're playing games? Need to disable that. <laughs> playing on Jay's Steam by the way. Do I have a Steam account? I think I do. But naturally, because this was Jay's, uh, or a computer from Jay's work, it's uh, got Jay's Steam on here. But that means obviously I get a load of free games. Yay! <laughs>
In games, yeah. Games that, that don't exist just yet. <laughs> Oh, why am I being so amateur today? No, wait. Remember what you're doing, Lara. It's all done. I remember like when I was younger and I used to play this in the summer holidays because I had no social life and I had no friends. So, um, so I just played this in the summer and I hated the sun would always come through my window and I just could not see a damn thing. So it was just like feeling my way through the corridors. So it was just like feeling my way. So at this point, do we know what her purpose in life is or are you just like, who is this mysterious Tomb Raiding lady? Well, again, going back to um, the manual, it actually has like a mini bio in there. And it basically, it told you that obviously, um, this is Lara Croft, adventurer, archeologist, historian, person, um, who was bought in, uh, bought? born into <laughs> aristocracy. Her father, Lord Henshingly Croft, um, wanted her to marry the Earl of Farringdon. And when she, she went to Wimbledon School for Girls and also Gordonston. And she was at a Swiss finishing school um, and then like she went on a, I think a holiday in the Alps or something and on the way back she got involved in a plane crash, she was a lone survivor, she had to use her wits to survive and because of that, that's why she, um, yeah she writes teams for fun. <laughs> That's what it used to be, not obligated to follow in her father's footsteps. But yeah, so she was involved in a plane crash at the age of 21. She had to use her wits to survive. When she got back home, she realised how um, stifling the aristocracy was. Um, like I said, her father wanted her to marry the Earl of Farringdon. I think it was the Earl of Farringdon. So she said no, her parents disowned her um, because of it. And then she basically had to use her book writing and her... Um, trips to fund her lifestyle basically and that's what it and that's what it um basically goes into and i think at the age of 30 she was the 30 i think when she went on this trip i think that's what it says that's that's roughly what it says it's a couple of paragraphs it's not like massively detailed but then obviously it got added to along the way so we know her birthday's on like the 14th of february she was born 1967 i think 1966 yeah yes you will get a full education <laughs> if you come to my streams about team reader <laughs> although i forget how to play sometimes it's just so like just pristine and shiny i'm, I'm just getting just lost in it <laughs> i'm forgetting how to play <laughs> Yeah, I've always loved this. I think this is what got me into that sort of music in the first place. I just love this soundtrack so much. Yeah, I, I think photography was another thing she did, yes. But you don't really see that side of her when you're obviously playing the game. That would be cool, wouldn't it, though, if you could just be like, Selfie! Selfie with a T-Rex carcass. It is very epic. You can, you can understand, I think, or I hope you can, that when I first played this at the age of 11, I was super just like in awe of this woman. For once, I think it was the first game I actually played where it was a woman as the main character for one thing. And then the fact that she was like, like all about ancient history, traveling around the world. You thought the red floor was lava. No, lava comes later in the game. <laughs> Much later in the game. There we 
go. Yeah, this level's a lot more colourful than the first one. The first one was just... <sighs> I don't even know what's going on right now. No, as I was saying, there's a lot more colour in this uh, level than there was in the first one. At some point, um, probably a long way into the future, I will be playing um, Crystal's anniversary version of this game. It's inferior in terms of gameplay, but I do think it's still a really beautiful game. And I liked how they reimagined a lot of it. But yeah, it still, it still left me wanting. But I never completed it because I hated the war runs. Yeah, still waiting for it to be normal for a female lead, yeah. Well, the fact like so many people have protested over Ellie being like the main character that you play in Last of Us 2. And even more hate when you have to play as uh, Abby. Spoilers. <laughs> Don't run into the axe for God's sake. <laughs> oh my god the new Weta statue looks absolutely beautiful I mean I'm a bit kind of like oh what a surprise they've gone with um, the anniversary version of Lara rather than the classic version of Lara but it's still going to be an absolutely gorgeous statue because it's Weta that's making it obviously <laughs> yeah, I haven't beat Shadow of the Team Raider yet Um, I actually really like Shadow. I think Shadow is my favourite game out of the trilogy. Probably because it's not made by Crystal. <laughs> this is going to turn into a Chris uh, I Hate Crystal stream. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> Hello, there you are. He's trying to get on camera. Whoop. Uh, I wonder have the... There we go. Yeah, um, I, th I think um, a lot of people, like people are really torn about Shadow, I think. Like it didn't get really good reviews and stuff. Which is really disappointing because, like I said, to me it's my favourite out of the uh, trilogy. But then I think there's still... I, I think it's definitely the least popular. I think Rise is the most popular. But again, I've never played Rise and I refuse to ever play Rise. So, um, so yeah, that's that's just the way things are. Um, not with her pistols. No, her pistols are infinite ammo. But you do get um, other guns which have limited ammo. that's mostly what the um, exploration in this game is about. It's about finding medipacks, keys, and weapons. And bullets for your weapons. I remember I used to think that um, it was really clever when uh, you changed to the Uzi. And you could actually see the uses physically in her uh, holsters. Oh, that, that is just so clever. <laughs> like when me and Jay were talking about um, like the details I've added to Last of Us Part 2, like with the, the guns when you upgrade them and they, it actually shows all the tiny details, like how many incendiary bullets you have for the shotgun um, compared to how many regular bullets you have. It's all there for you to see. It's, it's amazing how they've just gone into so much detail. I was going to say, have you um, completed the reboot and rise, mate? Go down here. 
So this is the puzzle, Rosie, that we are working on today. <laughs> Need to get the cogs. To fit back onto there, there's three, I think, in total we need to find. Oh, you beat 2013 in Rise. See, I've, I've not played Rise out of um, sheer determination and just, what's the word? headedness <laughs> um, because of like in, just in protest of um, like the Xbox exclusive that they did it just really pissed me off um, well here's to show you this is what happens if you flick the switch see not all the cogs go around that's why you need the other cogs um, but yeah so and I've yeah I've refused to play I played the manor because we have a very good friend that worked very very hard on it so um, I felt obligated to play the manor um, but uh, yeah, and other than the, like, but the actual game I haven't actually played. Um, I watched Jay play it so I could actually have it on my channel, um, my old channel, Lorian Gaming. Um, and yeah, I watched Jay playing it, and I was like, honestly, I don't really feel like I'm missing out on much. I think the the end levels I thought were so frustrating. Like I was frustrated watching. Just no, just not a team raider game for me. It was just all combat, and I hate it. I I thought I could hear in the distance. Shadow feels weird to me for some reason. Maybe because of my disillusionment. Yeah. Um. Maybe give it another go and like, just remind yourself the fact that at least this one is made by um a company that actually does give a bit of a fig about uh, what came before it. Crystal don't give a shit but I just want you all have a little bit of respect for for the OG Tomb Raider. <coughs> Apart from obviously not putting stuff in that uh, Crystal didn't want them to. Oh, he's emptied his water all over himself. <laughs> Life with a toddler. <laughs> Life with a toddler. And this section is the reason I became obsessed with wanting um, Tomb Raider for Christmas. When I went to a friend's house, her brother was playing this part. And also this uh, section is kind of the inspiration for the new um, Lara Croft Weta model that's coming out. This is a, it's a, seems to be her shooting a Velociraptor, so it looks like it's going to be really awesome. Where are they? There he is. Yeah! Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> That's what can happen. <laughs> right, beginning of the level. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. He just went, aha! <laughs> Excuse me, guys, while I just go back and get the shotgun. So where was I in Jurassic World happened? Getting eaten by a T-Rex, obviously. When I'm at the controls, anything happens. Remember F five, yeah. Well, normally I don't die when I ki when I fight the T Rex. That's like it's like a new thing for me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they've upped the level of hardness on this. <laughs> oh, yeah, 
escape, then down to bring up the options menu. Okay, I think F5 is probably easier. <laughs> F5 is easier to remember. At least I hadn't got too far, but yeah, I will definitely save before I hit the dinosaur room, I think, this time. Just to make sure. <laughs> I can see saying words, just can't hear. Until you talk to screen match. Mm. It's what he just loves to do, doesn't he? When one of us is talking, he just loves to scream over it. Hopefully you can't hear outside because I think our neighbours are being pretty noisy. They've been so noisy the last few days it's ridiculous. So I started recording my um, last Last of Us uh, review yesterday, and I s talked about it for two hours. <laughs> so I have a lot of editing to do. <laughs> but luckily, I've still got a few weeks before um, all the videos will actually be out. So, and I don't plan on posting it until obviously all my videos of my playthrough have been shown so because it's very spoilerific my review my feelings are very strong yes the last of us franchise means a lot to me and people probably disagree because i actually liked the second game which is just stupid Who needs to hide in a cubby hole? Which one is it? No, that's the cubby hole. You can see so much. I think that's what Jay was saying, wasn't it? With all the. It, your sight. I don't know the name. <laughs> you can actually see further before it all um, gets shaded and you can't actually see it. Until you get closer. Yeah, who cares about the fact that this is like some evolutionary marvel? The fact that there's some dinosaurs that are actually alive still. Draw distance. That's the one. First cog. And the monks are singing again. I'm never sure if I can dive from there. <laughs> Just another cog, yeah, in the machine. See Rosie, I was gonna say how she's got the uh, shotgun on her back now. Just these these graphics, man. The detail they go into, just top notch. And no sky. 
Because that's the thing, it's like I always thought because you couldn't see the sky that that meant that we were in a cave and that's how the dinosaurs have survived because it was its own little micro ecosystem thing. Oh, for God's sake, no, I can't stand up. Ugh. Why can't I stand up? <laughs> oh, there you go. Jesus. So temperamental. Yeah, that's what I used to think anyway. So when, like, Crystal's one came out and they were like, oh, yes, we can see Sky. I'm like, but that doesn't make sense to me. I thought it was just in, like, this big cave basin thing. But I think that's always been a bit of a discussion point, isn't it? In terms of why is there no Sky? It's just they didn't have the technology to do it <laughs> in those days. Only till Tomb Raider 2. Then they could uh, move Lara outside. They took full advantage. Quick, you've got to jump up there. Before the raptors get you. Funny to think this game used to really scare the shit out of me. Like I couldn't get this far in the level. I could kill the T-Rex because I just thought that was awesome. But then I was like really scared of this bit because I knew the Velociraptors would come after me. <laughs> I was such a wimp of a child. <laughs> now I just get scared shitless when I play Last of Us Part 2. All this ammo. The guns I don't have yet. Hoping to remaster two Tomb Raider one to three self. That would be really cool if you could uh, get it all done. Because it's like we're gonna be waiting forever if we rely on Crystal to do it. I mean, they'd most likely outsource someone to do it, but still, they just wouldn't agree to it. Too much of a threat to their own um, their own take on the franchise. Couldn't possibly uh, risk getting new fans of an old game. Pick a jump. He's hoping I can do it and I don't die. <laughs> Just by her nails. It's tool called Meta 2TR. That will let me enhance the polygon. Wow, okay. Another one, it's pretty good. Oh, that's really cool. That'd be really cool to see. Because, yeah, we definitely need. Uh, need a remaster i think i think we're uh we've earned it 
25 years fans of the franchise. It makes me feel so old when I think when I think that. 25 years next year. It's insane. Quarter of a century, man. Back this way. I think I'm making good time. I just hope I don't die. <laughs> oh, okay. I died and didn't come back this way, did I? So I need to grab the uh, medipack. I think I might be remembering wrong. Oh well. So we'll come back this way. Uh, yeah, you can post the links if, if someone wants to see them. So I can have a look at them once I've uh, finished the stream. know that because it's on my back. I can hear Bubs crying. Someone is very tired and overdue a nap. <laughs> what that ding is Rosie it's uh, when you find a secret <laughs> thought you might have worked it out <laughs> epic swung dive Oh no. <laughs> that was a fail. <laughs> This level is very colourful. It's so bright, Jesus. <laughs> is the door up? That's not right, is it? I'm gonna go check that. Oh, no, now it's down. 
I never noticed that before. The door was is meant to be up, and then the ball comes and squishes you because it's a trap. <laughs> it is very Indiana Jones. Where do you think Lara gets her inspiration from? And why do you think I love it so much? <laughs> probably save each time I go into these rooms because this is me we're on about here. She's so strong. Oh my god, can you imagine if Naughty Dog made a Tomb Raider game? She'd be beefed. <laughs> She'd be ripped. She could like rip off a Velociraptor's head with her bare hands probably. You have sick. Aww. He's like, I feel sorry for myself because I got all wet. F5, yes or no? Oh, yeah, I'm in a new room now, aren't I? <laughs> I'll save in a sec. I'm pretty sure I'm quite safe in this room, although I say that and I go into the next room and die. Considering how many times I played this game, like my memory just sucks on what happens next. Wee. Some things I can just remember <laughs> off by heart, but yeah, some things just really catch me unawares, and I was like, I don't remember that. <laughs> Before the last room, I'll save. With the chicken, I'll save. Save before the chicken. Where's the music on? Oh. Um. Again, I have to remember how to do this. I forget every single time. Oh. Is it? It's a very psychotic chicken. It's an Incan chicken. say Rosie once um, I've actually finished this playthrough obviously it'll be for a, a few weeks yet because <laughs> obviously I hope to finish the game on the stream um you will have to send you the link for our our friend uh, Steve's 
retrospective review of of uh, this game because it is very funny. It's very good. And go back in there. <coughs> trying to remember. <coughs> That's it, yes. I'm just winging it right now. <laughs> The mummy that just follows you around the room. <laughs> Chicken winging it. <laughs> oh my god, we've had like a whole weekend of takeaways and my, my stomach just can't take it anymore. she runs a lot faster than the PlayStation version as well. I'm totally blaming her running faster on the fact that I sometimes miss jumps. I'm totally blaming her running faster than the fact that I sometimes miss jumps. <laughs> Literally, many of you had that not cause of your injury. Because this is, this is uh, Lara we're talking about. She's tough. <laughs> like the fact she can just drop down these spikes and not hurt herself. <laughs> yeah, she had a sever injury. <laughs> So part, parts of her were probably severed. Yep, she literally walks through them. Like I said, she's just unstoppable. Save. Plinky music, Rosie. Plinky music that you missed last time. Cut it short with my secret. <laughs> Fast. You'll hear it later on in uh, St. Francis Folly, so it's fine. Spoilers. I also get the sidesteps at the bottom L2 and R2 buttons. 
because they change it up in um, team. How do I? There we go. Nailed it. Right. There we go. I didn't know how to get the uh, menu thing up. Do I want to use this? Yes. There we go. Short work. Well, you have my total attention now. I'm not quite sure if I've got yours, though. Oh, yeah, you've not heard the song yet, have you? Had you to a barn door yet? Of course. Oh, yeah, Shelley. I love Shelley. Piece of the ski on. You want to keep it so bad? I'll harness it right up your... Wait. We're talking about the artifact here? Damn straight we are. Right up. Hold on. I I'm sorry. This piece, you say? Where's the rest? <laughs> yeah, it's Mr. a very weird conversation. On that trail. And where is that? Ha! <laughs> you ain't fast enough for him. So you think all this talking is just holding me up? I don't know where his little jackrabbit frog legs are running him to. You'll have to ask Miss Natlin. But basically, what's happened is she's gone to find this ski on. She thinks it's one piece. And Natla, who hired her, has sent her guy to go and um, kill Lara so he can take the piece and not have to pay her, I'm assuming. Um, and then obviously he tells her it's a piece of a skill, so she's like, oh, there's more. So that's when you find out that we have to go after Pierre, who's in, um, who's gone to Greece, which is where we're now heading. But we don't know that yet, because she's got to go to Natla's offices and find where Pierre's actually gone. And she does this badass, I'm going to destroy a lift so I can get to the top floor. Located now to St. Francis's Folly, new temptations torment me. Rumor amongst my fellow brothers is that entombed beneath our monastery is the body of Teoka, one of the three legendary rulers of the lost continent Atlantis, and that with him lies his piece of the Atlantean Skion, the pendant <laughs> divided and Which is very Matrix, yes. Yeah. Matrix would have stole it from her because this came up before the Matrix. So. Powers. powers beyond the creator himself. My toes sweat at such possibilities, lying so close to my mortal self. Each night, I beat myself rid of these fantasies, but it is indeed a test. Pierre, you I know. Shame on Keanu. Oh, he's going to be in, in a game, isn't he, this year? Is Cyberpunk coming out this year? I lost. I lose track on how many times it's been delayed and when it's coming out. Okay. Oh yeah, and Bill and Ted. <laughs> how can we forget? He's he's riding high at the moment, isn't he, Keanu? Bless him. Yay! 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't really know how you find uh, gorillas in uh, in Greece. Or lions, to be fair. Where are you, Pierre, you bastard? I hate Pierre. There he is. Rawr. I'm like chasing you around now. Right, he's gone. That was nice and quick. Thank you. Yes, he has a very 90s hair color. <laughs> um. Oh, bollocks, I moved it the wrong way, didn't I? Meh. Okay, I need to move it back. We can do this. No, I didn't say that, did I? That was what I meant. Oh, for God's sake. I'm forgetting to play. No. <laughs> no. Just thought I need to save. I've not saved since starting this level. There we go. That's better. I'd love to know how there's a breeze when we're actually inside a building. <laughs> love, no, <laughs> Womb Raider. <laughs> Trying to keep this family friendly. <laughs> No. Oh, no. Right, can I get to there? Is that really stupid of me? To try and run and jump from there. Because I don't want to miss that secret. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> I have played this before. You wouldn't think it, but... This was this was the game that basically got me into gaming. Oh, for a sec. I'm trying to remember how to do this bloody puzzle. Um, no. <laughs> if it did that, I would never have played this as a child. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Um, <sighs> this might take me a while. I'm trying to remember the jump... Backwards jump. No. I think I need to. Um. Do a do a backwards jump on that second one, but it's 
getting her to do a backwards jump. All the way in the corner. From here. Okay, backwards one's never going to work. Okay. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Oh, so close. <laughs> How did I do that last time? Yay, we did it. <laughs> Got there eventually. That one was a bit easier. That was a lot easier. <laughs> yeah, I missed a secret last time. I don't know how I completely forgot it. Jump. And no, don't fall through that hole that was up there because then you just plummet and die. That's one thing I do remember. Now I have to start again, yay! Right. Wait, we're saving. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> I don't trust myself. Oof. Do you have to drop down the false floor? I didn't think... <coughs> I didn't think there was a secret there. Sorry, Nate, I just saw your message. Um, catch you later. If you're still there. I thought that was the fourth floor where you... Um, yeah, you just plummet to your death. Well, my experience, that's where you just plummet to your death. Yeah, you just plummet to your death. Well, my experience, that's where you just plummet to your death. Unless I just weren't doing it right. I'm remembering it completely wrong, which is most likely. It's where you get the sword. <laughs> There's no sword, you're trolling me now. <laughs> this is the the secret coming up that I never am able to get, although I watched someone get it the other day. And I was like, I really want to give it a go. And I can't remember, did she... I think you go backwards. And then you grab the edge. Is that right? Like that. Ah, oh, shit. Close. But no. <laughs> oh, hey, how are you? Just gonna sit there. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, it's such a horrible secret to try and get. Yeah, it's such a. I've no. I don't think I've ever been able to get it. Maybe once on a fluke, <laughs> and then never again. Um, save. Draw a distance, man. I think the girl I watched um, play the other day, literally, like, she knew every single move, every single, like, where everything happened in terms of which animal came out where and stuff. It was insane. Like, she, like obviously, she practiced a lot.
I don't know if my best option is just to flick every switch and then and then go into the rooms. Uh, doing good. Just taking a break. How are you doing? We're doing well, thanks. <laughs> Even though we have a toddler that's just like non-stop all the time. <laughs> That was a good idea. Why didn't I think of that in saving before I try the secret? Where's that bat? You're just going to stab there now and be really annoying, aren't you? Oh, no, there you are. Um, right. Where are all the switches? I've had one so far. at the top, Natch. Um, is Pierre down there yet? Mm. Downloaded the GOG version of Tomb Raider games today. I want to see what's the difference between them and the Steam version. Are they better or worse? Yeah, you'll have to let us know. I know um, that they're working on mods, trying to get the mods um, sort of as like a default when you um, when you download from Steam. Because obviously, when you download from Steam, it's just super dodgy at the moment, unless you use uh, fan-made mods. I see you there, bat. Film a digital version of Lost Artifact. Yeah, um, I think AJ played um, Unfinished Business. I've never played it because I always played PlayStation version. I've never played um, Unfinished Business or Golden Mask. Is it the GOG version? Or is that GOG version with the mods? I was scared to jump down because I don't want a lion or Pierre jumping out on me. Although we would have seen him by now, I guess, wouldn't we? <laughs> and I have to work out how to get that other uh, secret with the grey tile. Because that involves a lot of jumping, doesn't it? And I will die if I try to <laughs> get that. <laughs> Where did I miss a switch? Yeah. Last time I died so many times trying to get that bloody medipack. <laughs> when literally all I had to do was just step up. <laughs> Let's do in the Damocles room first. I think I've missed a switch. I think I've only flicked three, haven't I? And there's four. I can't remember where the other switch was. You don't need internet to install it. Blimey. Blimey. Okay, so I was always told that you need to walk through these, but then I still get stabbed, so, <laughs> or is it you just suffer less damage if you walk?
Because these swords cheat a little bit, didn't they? Because you're trying to avoid the shadows and they aim towards you. Yay. I will save. <laughs> now I'm getting higher. Especially because I'm about to head into the Thor's room. Um, how's my health? It's fine, I guess. Why? Why does it always get me? Seriously. Oh no, got too excited. Let's move you. I remember when I used to play this like years ago on my old crappy screen when I lived at home and I could not see this for like love and money. It just was so dark. Ask <coughs> Jay if it's possible to put gold versions of classics on stream. And he told me that's not an option. Things change! <laughs> If the fans speak loud enough, things can happen. <laughs> oh, you didn't realise that Survivor Reborn was Jay. Yeah, <laughs> he's he's in disguise. He's un he's unofficially the. Uh, the employer just watching, making sure I'm not doing anything wrong. <laughs> Incognito. <laughs> he is indeed Jay Walker. The one and only Jay Walker. Do I need to now have a midi pack? Yes, I do. Because that bloody lightning. <sighs> For God's sake. Every time. Right, um, where am I heading now? Up. They're going up. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> I hate you. Mm. Come out. I'm keeping an eye on my health this time. Cause you killed me way too many times last time. going on oh it's broken guys <laughs> I am not doing this by the way I don't know what's happened um what did I press I didn't do anything click away and click back. Ah, there we go. There you go. Calm down. Ah, 
think the um, action button's stuck because I'm not actually pressing it. Oh, no, it's, it stopped. Oh, so random. <laughs> right, so that one's been clicked. <laughs> clicked, switch, pulled. There you go. Right. Atlas. Atlas is open. Did I get them all then? Did I get all the switches? I don't remember. I must have done. Run, Nara, run! Yeah, we had to um, get all the the mods on this version because last time when I tried to play that was just ridiculous and the friggin' DOS box it looked awful. I'm so much more happier with uh, with this, especially now it's full screen <laughs> on my monitor. Can see so much more. Like I was saying earlier, I've never played. Um, like the original Tomb Raider this sharp or this clear before because I grew up playing it on my PlayStation. So it's a very new experience for me. Save. I'm going to have to start overwriting stuff, aren't I? I hear you. Nope. I don't want you. I hate when the bats come out in this section because it's like I could like, roll off the edge because you're because I'm trying to get her to aim at you. Right. Um, jump over there. Where am I going? Ah, there. Again, how can you hear the wind when it's inside? I really don't get that. I think there's nothing around here, is there? I always forget that they just make these little nooks and crannies and don't put anything in it. Swim, 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 swim. Well, where are we? This is the bit where I always forget that Lara can't rock, do her roll under the water like she can in Tomb Raider 2. Have to slowly turn her around.
So is that all the keys? Yes, I have all the keys. Right, does anyone know how I get that big secret? Because <laughs> I've never got it before and I really want to try and get it. <laughs> she can hold her breath for a long time. I think she's done like Olympic training or something. See, there's a grey tile there. I uh, see a lion. So I'd have to kill the lions first before I could even attempt it, I think, wouldn't I? Yeah, because there's one grey tile there. Where's the other ones? Because don't you have to do them in quick succession? I don't know how I would do it. Um. Where can I go? Come on. I don't think Pierre's down there now, is he? I think it's literally just the lions now. Oh, sorry, I just realised. Stay on the platform, jump back wheel, quickly go down, but save before. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to kill the lion and then I'm going to try it because uh, obviously because the door's at the bottom the lion's going to end up attacking me, isn't he, before I get there. So, and then I'm going to try it. Oh, nearly. <laughs> yeah, I'll... Kill the lions, then I'll save, and then I'm gonna go back up and try and do that thing. Because I'm what about I'm like an hour and a half into my stream, so when last time I I just about I think didn't I finish this in like just over two hours? Because I died at um at the beginning of this level. And several times after. <laughs> right, save. Actually no, I'll should I save? I'll save now and then I'll save when I get back up there. I'm just gonna be like safe happy. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm, where am I even going? I'm so confused right now. And now I'm just jumping for no reason. I swear our son's a psycho. I think that was meant to be like a little picnic mat for him to have his little tea set on. My parents are currently moving out, so uh, they're dumping a lot of stuff that my, my niece used to play with on us for our son. And last night she dropped off this little tea set of Peppa Pig. Jump up here and turn around. Ring the bell. <laughs> it's lots of paint in blankets. <laughs> I don't know what his obsession with ripping things is. Like, my niece managed to keep all her books nice and neat when she was a baby, and then you give them to him five minutes later and they're destroyed.
Right, I'm on the platform. Okay, save. Right, so what was it? So... I take it I don't... Jump backwards this way? Could it be that way? Can't be that way. Jump back with quickly go down to save before. I'll try this way, yeah? That's where I die. <laughs> <laughs> Yay for saving! <laughs> Right, okay. Don't think it's this way, is it? Because there's no way I can get down quickly from there. Where do I go? Right, sorry, I'm going to load up. Load back up. Safe drop, like this way. Right, and then drop down again. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and die. <laughs> That's a door shuts just to rub it in my face. <laughs> Right, I've got it now. Okay, we can do this, guys. We've got this. Now can I? Ah, bollocks. Okay, right, we'll try again. You can hear that playing back on the Twitch dashboard. How does that work? I'll try it one more time this way and then... Right, okay. I think I have a feeling I know what I need to do. Am I echoing? How am I echoing all of a sudden when I've not done anything? Um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where's my thing gone? My mouse is gone. Oh, there you go. Uh, how's that? Done any better? No, now I've buggered this up. And now I'm not getting echo. So that was the problem all along. <laughs> I know this. I'm going to fail this because I've dragged my feet. But <sighs> come on, I'm going to do this. Sorry if I bore you guys, but I'm determined to do this. <laughs> Uh, that would explain it. Now I know. Ah, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> you run it. Run and jump walk when I'm at the on the ground floor. Right, let me try it. Well, now I don't need to grab because it's not that far from there. But it's this bit that's. <sighs> no, 
I'm... <laughs> what am I doing wrong? You win you straight and have room for jump. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I should have thought about it then. <laughs> right. Okay. I know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm gonna get it <laughs> before the end of this uh, fucking stream. <laughs> This is so frustrating. I used to think I was good at this game. <laughs> you didn't say, take so bloody long to like just gather your composure, Lara. We'd be we'd be there by now. <sighs> Everyone, just shut up. <laughs> Because that ledge is so friggin... Oh, you're kidding me! <laughs> uh, I was gonna say, I think it's not the completely excusing the fact that I suck, obviously, but I do think the frame rating is... Because I think sometimes, like, that's why I miss jumps, because it's a lot faster than what I'm used to. I need her to jump naturally rather than me having to make her make her step back. That's a problem. I wanna jump down. Is my half not full? That would help, wouldn't it actually? There we go. Let's see if that does anything. Is Bubs now at the bottom of the stairs calling up to me? You're cheering me on. Say, Mum, you can do this. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> Did it finally? <laughs> well, I don't totally suck. <laughs> oh, I'm like got a sweat on there, man. The one secret I managed to get on this level, for God's sake. <sighs> totally, first try. <laughs> we'll ignore like the 20 times I did it beforehand. <laughs> Thanks for your help on that though. Hey Rosie, have you heard her sassy uh Here we go. No. <laughs> Did that for my friend who doesn't know the uh the team raider franchise at all apart from what I've told her <laughs> thanks I'm I'm proud of myself <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
Yay. Two of four. Oh, did I get another one? What was the other one? I'm trying to think now. Right, save. So I'll play this. I've got 20 minutes. So I'll play this for 20 minutes and then call it a day. Where's Mr. Crocodile? There he is. I've definitely got a lot further than I did on the last stream of this. <laughs> I totally blame the fact that I was playing on the uh, DOS box. It was like a tiny little square on my screen. And really crappy graphics. Excuse me. say if there's anything this game has taught me it's to explore every nook and cranny because there's probably something that you need where you least expect it to be that's why it takes me ages to search for things in uh, last of us <laughs> I remember some of the secrets going forward, just not all of them. Said no repeatedly when you had Lara say. <laughs> He's learning. Giving him that education. Because he can't say her name yet whenever he sees Lara, or normally whenever he sees Lara, he goes, aha. That was a proud mummy moment when he uh, when he did that for the first time. <laughs> Find it weird that you have a Colosseum in uh, Greece, though. Although I guess it's it might be Greco-Roman, but I always thought uh, the like Tehokan would have been buried in like ancient ancient Greece. There was something in there. <laughs> the fun bit of just watching Lara just shimmy along. A very long crack in the wall.
Finally got there. Save here because of friggin' Pierre coming out. Plinky plinky music. There he is. No, aim at Pierre, please. Running gun. Come on. Just disappear already. Such a lovely piece of music for like during a gunfight. <laughs> Come on, just go. It's like it really has to take a lot of hits in this bit, doesn't it, to actually disappear. There we go, finally. Jesus. Can't do anything up here yet anyway, can I? Don't think so. You really shoot me at the line. No one better flank me. Good, thank you for waiting your turn. Mr. Gorilla. remember which one they come out of. Both of them. <laughs> oh, it was just the one. I love her angry face <laughs> when she's triggered. Where is he? He's right there. Oh, that, that's a new one. Hey. Where's the other one? Get out. There you are. all these animals Lara how do you sleep at night they do pounce if they get um oh pounce down um there's, a, there's the graphics at the time they couldn't <laughs> all they could do was like run at you and like just lunge 
yeah, yeah they, they probably would like these days if they were to remake it, but that's not going to happen. And I wouldn't trust Crystal to make a decent, um, decent version anyway, to be fair. I need to open you because there was a medipack in there. Well, like, you've probably seen, haven't you, on my playthrough of um, Last of Us 2 when, like, I think I'm safe up on the ledge and then a runner or a clicker comes jumping up after me and I'm like, no. Remake is never going to happen. They made it, they made like anniversary and it wasn't exactly treated very well. And I just realised that's timed, isn't it? Uh, right. Um, yeah, it didn't exactly get well received, I don't think, anniversary by, by fans or by like the press. So they're kind of like, see, look, we try and do a remake for you and then you shit on it. So we're not going to do it anymore. I don't even know what I'm doing. Just. I don't even know what, what am I even doing? I think what I would want now is just for, um, like a remaster just to to update the game as much that so much that newer players that wouldn't have the time really to or the means to be able to um what's the word play the game in its state that it is now i think they just need to make it easier easily accessible for newer players to play what am i even doing guys i don't even know anymore I used to know this off by heart and now all of a sudden I'm just like, I don't even know what I'm doing. Or do I need to, I need to head straight because I don't need to go in this room now, do I? I need to head into it. They remake and we won't like it just like anniversary yeah leave the classics as they are yeah um i mean that's what i think it's like because you just risk if you're gonna try and remake it that it's just gonna absolutely just not be what we want it's gonna be what they think we want and it's yeah it's gonna be completely off so i think the best option like i said is just like a remaster in terms of just making it easy more easily accessible for new fans to be able to play the old games because at the moment it can be quite tough and a bit of a faff to try and <sighs> i liked anniversary but i think there was like some bits that i just could not get on with like i hated the wall run so i got as far as um as Atlantis and then I gave up because I just I just could not handle the wall runs they really pissed me off oh, shit. <laughs> hello anniversary may be a classic to some I'm gonna play anniversary on a stream um but what i'm what the plan is is i'm gonna play through each of the team raiders so i'm playing obviously team raider one now and i'll finish i'll complete the game not on this stream but over um several streams um then i'm gonna play another game that's not tomb raider 
So I might play like Assassin's Creed or something. Um, just so I don't get Tomb Raider fatigue. Um, so I'll play another game, then I'll play Tomb Raider 2. And I'll do the same, like another non-Tomb Raider game, then Tomb Raider 3. So eventually I will get around to playing Anniversary. Because I haven't played it in years. So I'm I'm actually really sort of itching to play it. Same with Legend as well. And Underworld, to be fair. <laughs> Yeah, it might take me a while to get there, but we'll see. <laughs> I said the only game I'm, I won't be playing um, on stream is Rise, because I just don't play Rise. My own personal protest. Whoop. Yeah, it'll be a, <laughs> probably be next year. <laughs> I'm hoping I can up um, my streaming time. Because so, at the moment, obviously, I'm only doing two hours a week. Just because it's what I'm able to do in terms of getting time away from my son and stuff. Um, but if I am to get like a part-time job or something, so then I can afford to put my son into daycare. Um, then I might be able to um, have a few hours during the week that I can also live stream as well. But we just have to see. Have to see how we get on. I could play anniversary on my Twitch channel. You know when it would be a good time to play it, actually? Although, to be fair, it would probably be better to play this game because it would be the 25th anniversary of this game. It would be next year for the 25th anniversary. Did I flick the switch? I did flick the switch. I'm always glad to catch up. Thank you. That means a lot. I never, I never know if my my streaming is good or not. <laughs> um, do a jump over here. Twenty five years has flown. There we go. I said I can still remember getting my PlayStation for Christmas. Um, and a copy of Tomb Raider as my as the game to go with it. We actually we were lucky enough um, in the family to actually know someone that worked at Sony, so they were able to actually get me um, a PlayStation cheap. I think it was I don't know how much it was at the time, maybe like three hundred and fifty pounds for a new PlayStation. And he was able to get it for my parents for a hundred pounds because my parents couldn't really afford. They, there's no way they could have afforded to get me a, a brand new PlayStation at the time. So luckily, yeah, because we had a family friend, he was able to get a PlayStation for £100 as as well as a load of games on top. And he only got me uh, Tomb Raider because it was like the game I was begging to, begging to play. 23rd anniversary for Jay, yeah. That's what you call loyalty, man. Part of the furniture. Right, I'm gonna save, and then I'll do this, and then I'll call it a day because I'm just coming up to the two-hour mark. So, <laughs> I can't remember. Do you? You don't jump down there, do you? Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. <laughs> oh dear. Let's try again. <laughs> like I said, there's some things in this game that I know off by heart, and then other things I'm just like, yeah, I don't remember at all. <laughs> So yeah, when it comes to like Atlantis, I'm going to be... Other than Nettler's Mines, I used to love Nettler's Mines when I was younger. I used to always skip to get to that level. I don't know why. I just loved it. I would love running around in there. Um, but yeah, other than that, I've got no clue what happens in Atlantis. Right. 
so we've done that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to end the stream here. Oh, I'm fucking Pierre. <laughs> Get Pierre. Come on, you. All right, it's gone. Okay, right. Yeah, so I'm going to end the stream here. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to raid teams here, seriously. Um, but yeah, so this is the start. Don't load. Don't you dare load. Get out. How do you get out? Oh my god. There you go. Uh, <laughs> got to get used to the controls. I'm used to PlayStation controls. Um, so, yeah. So I'll be streaming this again next Saturday from here. And then hopefully I'll complete the game in the number of weeks. And then I'm going to move on to like a non-Tomb Raider game. I'm thinking it'll probably be... Um, Assassin's Creed 2 that's kind of what I have in my head but I might do like a poll on Twitter or something and see what other people want to see but it will be a non Tomb Raider game like I said I don't want to get start getting Tomb Raider fatigue I like to to take a break between Tomb Raiders so um but yeah it was nice to see everyone thank you all for, thank you all for coming along it was nice to see you and thank you for your help with that bloody secret <laughs> the bane of my life I still can't get the other ones though that's really annoying but yeah anyway um, yeah, it was lovely to see you guys and I shall see you all next week, hopefully. So, bye. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye. Yeah, lots of it. See you, definitely. Bye.